In the latest release of Adobe Muse CC 2015, I want to show you how we can use Typekit fonts now, which are awesome. They're something that are part of your Creative Cloud subscription if you're a subscriber uh, and you get to use these. So if you are in Muse, let me jump right in. Go ahead and select some text. Come up top, you're going to see that we have all our fonts. The font listing has changed a little bit. We have web fonts, which we've had in the past, but we can now add web fonts and actually choose from a couple different options here. If I choose Add Web Fonts, it's going to ask me, do you want to do Typekit, do you want to do Edge, or self-hosted? Now, in the past, it, it, the past version, it actually showed you Edge Web Fonts and self-hosted web fonts. Edge Web Fonts are totally free right there, hosted by Adobe. Self-hosted web fonts are fonts that you uh, basically give it and say, here, we're going to use these fonts. It'll upload them and do all that stuff for you. And then we have Typekit. This is the new feature, which is great. Click on Get Started, and you can say, don't show that again, by the way. And you'll see you choose which one you want to use. Self-hosted is probably the more difficult because you have to give it the fonts. If you don't give it the right fonts, it won't work. So a lot of us will use either Typekit or Edge. And if you click between the two here, you'll see that it's just different you know, choices here. Typekit has a lot of fonts. They've actually added a, a whole bunch more recently. So if you want to use one of these, you'll see that any you click on will have a check mark next to it. That means that you're going to be able to use it within your sites in Muse, any site for that matter, going forward. If I come in here, you can see selected fonts. It's going to show you just sorting the list quickly. If you want to, you can also go in and say, just show me the newest or by name. There's a bunch of ways that you can sort. You can also apply a filter if you want to and say, eh, show me all the sans serifs or the serifs or different properties if you want to do that too. Just hover over and it'll kind of tell you in a tooltip what each one is. Once you choose one of these, you click OK. It's going to think about it for a little bit. It's going to download the font so you can use it. Now the idea here is that it's going to work on your website and you don't have to do anything else. That, this is it. It's going to put some code in your site that goes to the Typekit servers, grabs the font, and just whenever people look at it, it'll show up. You're not going to go find the font on your system. To me, what's interesting about this is if you use Illustrator, InDesign, or Photoshop, and if you use the Typekit fonts that come with Creative Cloud, what we're doing in Muse is a little bit different. It's the same Typekit library, at least it looks like it to me. But if you choose a font in Muse, a Typekit font, it's not going to show up over here in your Creative Cloud. Okay, it's not going to, you're not going to see it over here, which means we're not going to be able to use it in Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, or any other program for that matter. I kept trying this. So I was like, why wouldn't it do that? But that's the way it works, at least from what I see. So then I go up here to text in Muse again, and I'm going to be able to see the different ones that I chose, and they should be available now as long as I've got them in here, and I can choose what I want. I'll choose bold, and there we go. It's all done. It'll now work on my site. That's pretty much it. Like I said, Puts a little code in there, and it works. I love the fact that they, you know, finally put the Typekit library or made it accessible within Muse because now we have a whole bunch of options when we're talking about picking fonts.